So to be honest, I would have saved something like this for the podcast. To those that don't know, I have a podcast called Autumn Colors where I mainly discuss video games and media associated with them. It's mainly just me and my friends talking about what we like. But this is something that I'm kind of alone on when it comes to my group, so I wanted to gush about mid-2000s racing games and more so, you know, why I'd love to see these kinds of games come back today. And honestly, I know racing as a genre, like, it either is just for a specific crowd of players now, or it's just overall considered a dead market. Because stuff like, I mean, Need for Speed isn't really doing so hot, and most people I know really aren't interested in games like Gran Turismo much at all. So, you know, I understand if people look at me and roll their eyes, but just like, look, just... Just let me explain, like, what I mean before you just go off and ignore me anyway. Okay, so what I'm talking about specifically is racing games that let you customize cars through and through, really. Like, I love when games give me the option to customize who or whatever I play as and just just let me enjoy myself. Like, I think like off the top of my head, like, So Calibur, for instance, like, that's a good example. Which, you know, I've, I've got opinions on that, but that's that, that's another topic for another day. Anyway, uh, games like what you're seeing right now, which is Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition Remix. Like, if you got the money and pretty much just, like, play through the game enough, you can pretty much just make your car look like whatever you want from pretty much what's available. Right down to stuff like the license plates or, like, adding window decals or even the colors of the fucking brakes. Like, it's crazy. Honestly, the thing I love, like, the most about this is, like, just me being able to do what looks good to me and it being fine. Of course, most of my memories in this game, back when I was uh, starting out in this game, it's just, like, it's just owning cars and then giving them, like, 20-inch rims and then painting them, like, black or gold, because, well, because it was the 2000s and me being six years old thought, you know, just, you may not like it, but this is what peak male performance looks like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And now I just do whatever. <laughs> like, most of my cars in this game, now when I play it, just have colors that are like a fusion of blue and purple or something. Like, I bought the Evo for this, because I wanted to demonstrate a lot of the possibilities Rockstar put into this game back in the day, as well as just curious how it handles in a race. Like, honestly, the thing I love most about these games is just being able to take a car and customize it my way and drive it around. I'm not even talking about a race right now. Like... That's what games like Need for Speed Underground, Most Wanted, and I think even Carbon had going on for them back in the day. Like, honestly, I'd love to see a racing MMO where people can just pick a car out of a lineup, make some money, and then just customize it however they want, and then just chill with everyone else or whatever in an open world. Which, you know, we actually did, interestingly enough, get about, I think, 13 years ago now? Uh, NFS World was pretty much this, which, honestly, with Need for Speed World, I had fond memories of it back in the day. Too bad EA closed it down, though, which fucking sucked. The game was something, honestly, I just found myself losing hours in any time I logged on. Just, like, in the garage and customizing a fucking Dodge Challenger to look like the one from Driver San Francisco. Just because, you know, it was just because I could actually just do that. It, it was, it, that's, I like that in racing games. I just love that. Also, I, I just want to mention this because this isn't the first time I've brought this up in conversation. But last time I talked about this in a Discord server, one guy actually said, well, why don't you just play Mario Kart then? Like, motherfucker, that ain't even close to what I'm talking about. Like, that and this are like completely completely two different subjects. Anyway, like racing nowadays has kind of just been, in the grand scheme of things, they're just kind of racing simulators now, which, I mean, yeah, they, they have their audience, like Gran Turismo. I, I don't think Gran Turismo would have, it would have still gone for as long as it did if, you know, people didn't buy it. So it's evident that people are still buying it. But I mean, I, I don't really know. I, I personally just think it's a shame that Racing games like Midnight Club are just like were just dropped or NFS just became disappointment after disappointment. I mean I've heard one game people talk about is like Forza Horizon, which 
I mean, I, I personally, I can't really give much opinions on it because I don't play it, but I don't know. It's just, I don't really know if it's all of what I've been talking about here. Like, if anyone who plays that game, I, I'd love to know if it is, though. Because, like, from my perspective, from an outsider point of view, like, I kind of took it as just a racing sim with an open world. Which, yeah, that, that, that's fine. But the, personally, again, that's not really what I'm looking for, personally. Because, I mean, if you want me to be 100% honest, when it comes to racing games like Midnight Club or Need for Speed, I never cared too much about the racing. Like, even if at times, like, it was fun, but... I mean, hey, having a bunch of different cars from different years available to trick out in different ways, like, I mean, I'll be up for that game later in the future. I mean, I, I guess, like, the closest thing I can think of in modern times is sort of Rocket League, but then it's just, like, I, I, I don't really know if that's exactly of, I don't, I don't really know if what I've been talking about here is exactly of everything uh, is been put into Rocket League, you know? But anyway, I mean, I, I feel like that's just going to be it for now. I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep doing vids like this where I talk about games or genres I like for certain reasons or another and then just give my thoughts on it, but I, I mean, if y'all like it, I'm, feel free to tell me, like, or ask me my opinions on games I've played before or something. Like, I've just, I play a lot of games on Twitch and whatnot, and I have a channel for VODs if you want to be, like, curious about what games I play and everything, so yeah, just... Don't feel afraid to ask me questions about stuff, and I'll give my honest opinions. So yeah, uh, feel free to subscribe, check out my art station, my Instagram, and my Twitch, and uh, take care of yourselves.